Great, so that has the setup. The next thing we do is to click on add product. Very easy. Now we have physical products, we have digital product, right ticket, subscription service. Now your PDF is a digital product. It's it just with what it says here. It says sell any kind of digital product from ebooks to the to downloadable product to music to courses, blah blah blah. Next you do we just come here and click on next. Click on next and the process to set up is very very simple i mean very really simple this part where you have you see your, your image needs to be at least 300 by 300 pixel very, very square image what i always advise to upload here is the mock-up remember the mock-up we created using those platforms this is the place where you would start using them so first i'll click on this now locate one of my covers one of these covers any of these covers i'll locate them I simply upload i'm going to use this because it has you know the e book it has um, you know the, the the book design in something that looks like a device so i'm going to select that you can use any other one you want so i have selected that as my display image then this part is name of product all you need to do is to write write in the name of the book if you have the book its name and the subtitle include that there so we paste that here now the sale the sale price what is exactly the price of the book what exactly is the price of the book so remember on amazon we use 4.99 4.99 in naira is equivalent to like 2500 or something a little bit just around that so i'm going to just use 2500 that's how much I want to sell the book, or you use any price you want. I can I could decide to make this like a pre-order. I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to do that as you continue. So I see 2500 Or I can say, okay, let me leave, let me do some discounts and make this 1000 naira. And then you see this part where it says show strike out original price. I can click on that and it's going to provide me a privilege to write the original price say i want to do a quick promo I can make this 1000 and make the 2500 original price now look at what is said here by default you set the price in local currency and will automatically convert the amount to other currencies on your store page but if you'd like to set the fixed price for other currencies e.g., usd you can enable this option on your currency settings page you can just put this on your default currency and anybody from other countries that view your product the price will be default to the currency in their country as well but if you want to set price in us dollars or let's click that and you see what i'm saying see <laughs> my price is default to nigeria and era but if you want to set your price to default to just usd or whatever you can you can select as many currencies as you want and if you click if i click on update details here now and go back by the time i'm done with this you see my prices will also be default in other currencies so now you see this part where it says the description this part where you see here is where you type the description of your product description of your product and the description of your product is simply the sales letter this is what i have here the sales copy just like what we used on amazon something that describes your book something that tells the reader about what your book is so that is it oops this has okay now that's the good thing about seller you can actually format your description so how you want it to be now this has been centralized but i can click on this to ensure that i change the way it looks i think this is better for me you can decide to increase the fonts for this by simply changing this to heading one you see it's going to be bigger and just you know play around this you can make this bolding you can unbolding it but i would I, I want everything to be normal for this particular one so use use the stuff here to play around here if you have list listed items you can select that and put, put the list items you know this is actually a cool way to
format your description now look at this point just ignore this one you don't need it your product type ensure that this is digital product here advanced options you can just ignore that now this part says this is a product pro if you click on pre-order product you are saying that this item being released to the public is on pre-order is a pre-order product it's not actually available at the moment for purchase or for download now you can decide to put the pre-order release date here you can just by clicking that it pops up for you to select when you are going to be releasing the book to the public and if you select a particular date for instance if i select 30th of august 2021 and i say by 4 50 pm let me show you if i click on that this is where i'll change the date i can say let it be available by 5 pm and and okay see you know i will try so five and we have that that's it at first of august 2021 at 5 pm this book will be ready and the good thing about this is that the moment anybody buys even they buy today as soon as it is 31st august 2021 by 5 pm everybody who purchased your book will get an email sent to them informing them that this book is not ready for for download and it's a, a, a mail will be sent to them directly and automatically without you having to do do anything really so that's the good thing about using seller for your pdf and as soon as you're done with that you can you can if this is not compulsory anyway if you are ready to sell your book you can just ignore that and put your price as you want it just play around this mine is not a pre-order but i just want to do a kind of quick sale here so at this point too you can decide to give the buyer access to the file if you click on give buy access to the file it means that the buyer will, not, will be able to see what you are uploading or what you have uploaded and what you are selling they are able to see it and when you allow this to be download, downloadable file it means that as soon as some, anybody pays the book will be automatically downloaded in their devices they have the op option of downloading it but if you are publishing a book that does not that you don't want them to download to their device you don't want them to read it online you click on this so that's just it that's just the the meaning of this tool so i want them to have access to the book so i'll click on downloadable then in this point you see to upload files of a bundle simply zip compress blah 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 here now all you need to do is click on this and go to select your file this is my file it's still it's still in doc format i can actually use that but i would like I would like the book to be in PDF format. So this is what I have here. That is a doc file. Now to now to save this as a PDF. All I need to do is to click on file in your Microsoft Word. Go here, click on file. Then come here. You see export. You click on export. Click create PDF, and you can save that. Let me save the name to how to start a small business by w c king great click on publish and wait for it so our file is ready so this is how it looks look at it look at it look at it so this is how our file looks as a pdf it's good to export your content as a PDF before sharing so that it's easy um, to to read and the formatting doesn't get distorted when you are ready to um, you know sell the book when you upload it to platforms like that so the next thing you do is you click on this part it says either you drag and drop or you just click and to select it this is our file here I'll just click on it and open so you see the file has been uploaded successfully so all you need to do if you want to redirect buyers to an external link for instance if they purchase the book after somebody has paid and you want them to come straight to your whatsapp or you want to channel them to another website or somewhere else maybe to your community whatever it is after they have purchased your book you want them to come and join something else or see something else you can quickly put the link here and to give them access to whatever resource you have however if you just want them if i didn't download the file and that's all you simply uncheck this 
and you click on create product with this you are done creating your first product uploaded on seller.co now this is the public link you can just let us open that now and i'll show you how it looks amazing so this is how it looks how to start a small business with no money this is how it looks this is how it looks and with this we are good to go you can send this link directly to anybody and they'll come they'll be they'll, they'll, it will bring them here and they have access to buy the book once they click on buy now it tell it shows okay this is a single copy you just click on checkout and the name here though is inside their name and their email address and click on pay now so as they click on pay now the book will automatically be downloaded to their devices and you receive your money also saved on seller seller also will transfer your money to you on the prescribed dates so this is how it is